Hey, what's up, Internet? Sebastián Noguer is here again with another brand new episode of this interesting crash course regarding how to write HTML with simple and, of course, free online web developer tools. In this six short video series, you guys will learn all basic and intermediate syntax you need to produce web content for specific audiences. Plus, you guys will find some amazing CSS style tips and some extra recommendations to make all of your projects look astonishing. If this is your first time here, I'll invite you to check more content in my YouTube channel related to coding, some video game creation and some other interesting videos dedicated for you, my techie savvy user. So consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell to receive notifications from every single new content. Well, in this episode, we will learn in a simple way how to insert videos from external sources, of course, into our web page projects. So it's time to buckle up, start your engines and, of course, let's go. Well. Since this is the fifth episode of this crash course, it's time to take a look of our progress so far. If we start scrolling down, we will see that on last episode we learned how to insert pictures by using external sources, plus how to edit some type of banners, and now I added new elements based on some text and some titles. I placed new elements in my web page. Elements such as this new products and releases title using an H2 markup tag. I inserted a picture and a heading tag for the cost, the price. Plus, I added in another container a uh, summer sale content, some text content. If we take a look at the content that I place here, you guys can see that I used some heading markup tags followed by a paragraph, a paragraph to place text. And remember that every time we place elements, we must be aware of every single style setup or configuration we place in our CSS style sheet for the paragraphs we set up some black color, some serif or Times New Roman font family, along with some justified text alignment. That's what you guys are seeing here. And I added some list using, again, another heading tag and this list markup tags. Plus, as you guys can see, if you look closer, I added an extra break line markup tag. Break lines allow me to separate text, as the, as the markup tag says, into break lines or put a blank line between text or between content. Let's add some extra content here. Let's go. I'm going to add some break line plus another Lee markup tag. And I'm just gonna put and more. I'm just gonna close this list and I'm just gonna save all and run to show you the expected result. Here we go. Well, since this is a video regarding how to insert videos on your HTML projects, this is how you start. First, locate the container you're gonna use to place your object, in this case, the video. In my project, I'm just gonna use this container here. In line 48, I'm just gonna place the video in this exact place. Second, you need an open source or a free online video source. The best option, of course, is YouTube. Or, if you want another one, you can just try with vimeo.com this is another source for videos and it's 
a secondary option for some of your projects. So let's try with YouTube first. Since my project is regarding Herstal products, it's time to check what type of elements or what type of videos uh, suits the best for my exercise. Here I can check that I have videos, videos, videos everywhere. So let's try with this one. It's short, it's regarding hair care. So let's click in the beat. Okay, this video looks nice. This video looks nice. It's offering a deep conditioner. So this is the way you insert videos. If you look closer to the likes, dislikes bar, you will see the share button. Once you click on share, you will see plenty of options. Our option for this project will be this one the embed option the only thing you need to do is to take all this link copy this and then paste it in your project so let's delete the commentary that I place by default and paste it now you will see that a new markup tag appears the iframe markup tag plus you have several attributes such as width, height, and the source as well. Plus, some other extra elements such as the frame border, allow, and of course, the possibility to allow full screen mode in case the users wants to check your video in a better way. So once we're done with all this stuff, let's click on save and run and watch the result. There you go. We got a video. If we click on play, you guys will see that the video starts automatically with all full controls, volume control, watch on YouTube, captions, and every single item you found on the regular YouTube page. Now, let's put some adjustments to make this video suit better in my project. First, I'm going to adjust the width. Since my table is a 1200 width table, let's reduce the size of the video to 400. And let's leave the height in the default value. Plus, I'm just gonna adjust some of these elements to make this element suitable. Let's save all and run. And now my video looks better. Let's add some extra content. Let's place an H2 markup tag to place a heading. And let's place the words new video release. Of course, we must close our H2 markup tag. new video release and there you go this is how you insert a video from an external source here in your HTML project but wait there is more if we need to add some style to this new object we can add a new line in our style sheet file the line we're gonna add in order to place a cool border to our video or set up a border radius depending on your needs is this. Let's type the iframe since this is the markup tag that contains our video. Let's open the brackets and then we can use the same elements or the same style options we included in the images for our project so let's copy this of course doing some adjustments let's paste it here okay I'm just gonna add some border yeah some white border I'm not gonna include a border radius or if I'm gonna include the border radius I'm just gonna include a border radius of 5 pixels plus a pattern of 5 pixels as well so there you go. Let's save all and run again. 
and let's check the result. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we just added some simple styles to this new object. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you insert a video into your online web developer tool project. Now, if you want to insert your own videos, my biggest recommendation is to upload these videos or upload your videos into these free online platforms, YouTube or Vimeo as well, and then carry out the same process. And that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this new episode of this crash course of writing HTML for doing some cool projects. On the next lesson, we're gonna learn how to add some final touches, how to use hyperlinks, and of course, how to publish our projects on the web. Stay tuned, be cool, and see you on the next time. Bye-bye.